Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. So welcome to today's lesson. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed your holidays. I know that I've had a wonderful holiday. I've been working very hard in my house, uh, trying to build um, a second floor in my house. So it's been exciting, and I'm starting to realize how old I'm becoming. I hope that I'm not becoming too old that I can't teach effectively and forget everything. It's the wonderful thing about being young, that your mind is still fresh, you remember, you've got so much opportunity. So look over here, we've got all these activities, and look at the time due in one day so it has to be done today that's football game it's an activity now i'd like to just go over how to do it if you go to start you guys will get it in the to do section you'll find it's one of the tasks set for you to do i'm just going to go over here but you'll go to that red button over there the to do's and then you're going to go and look for that football game now we know it's a coding activity purple mash when you come to me for this hourly, hourly lesson, you know that you come here for coding. So this would fall into the category of coding. It's right at the bottom over here, football game. So I'm going to launch the app just to show it to you from this position. The first thing it says, swipe the ball. Now, when you swipe something, it's as if you were working on a tablet. You'd move your finger across, the, that's called a swipe. So when the user swipes the ball, set the speed, to a number greater than zero. I don't think anyone's going to struggle with that one. But what you do is you open the, open the activity, you say when swiping on what, the ball, then you must set, it says set the speed. Eh? So when you go there, you set the speed. The ball speed would be set the speed of the ball to a number greater than zero. So when swiping on the, on the football, we can go any, go any direction, then the football, look where it's part of which block, on the when swipe football block. In other words, it falls into this block over here. Look at this little yellow square or rectangle around it. It's showing that it falls into there. When swiping on the football in any direction, the football, you must set the speed. You must set to and you're a number greater than zero. I think you guys will know what to do. Now I must stress throughout, try look at the JavaScript. Look at this. There's the script. Football, that's the object. I'll just make it a bit bigger so you guys can see. Football's the object. And look what it can do. It's got a method called on swipe. So when you swipe on the football, it can move in any direction. And it calls a function, speed or angle, speed, angle, and the speed is output expression. So let's just play it. So if I go like that, this is my watch window, which tells me about the variables. If I move like that, I'm just wondering why I'm not getting, oh, look, there's my mistake. So you guys are gonna look very carefully. See, there's nothing written in here. So I could still bring this to any and change this to a number greater than zero. So now it'll work. Look, there it goes. All right, but I'm not going to go to the next challenge because I want to just show you how to go through all of these. Next challenge, I'll go through them very quickly. Give the ball some friction. Now, you guys know that friction is what holds back the speed of a ball. So give the ball some friction so it slows down after it's been swiped. So look over here. When swiping on the football, we can move in any direction. Then the football... A speed of, let's make it five, and then I'm going to go over here, right in the beginning, I'm going to set the friction, and I'm going to set it to, so let's see what happens. Watch carefully, the friction is set to two. Click it, look at the ball, it's slowing down. Do you see that? It's slowing down, and there it stops. So Kush kicked the ball his furthest, and it couldn't get to the end of the field. He gets a little bit stronger, so if I make this one, 
I'm going to take it one, that the friction's one, that we put, it's a different type of environment. Now Kush kick, kicks the ball. Uh, look, it's going faster. It should go further because remember that one is the friction that's holding the ball back and it makes it right across. Did you notice it was slowing down? Why was it slowing down? Because the friction was slowing the ball down. Six is friction. So look over here, he has the code. There's the JavaScript, football, and we're setting the friction to one, and then we got the semicolon. This is, called, this is the syntax. This is the way we write JavaScript. And you guys can even change this. If you go like this, if I make this three, now watch, it'll slow down much faster. So if I go back here, look at syntax, I've changed that to three, then we got the semicolon, football, the friction on the football is three. Football on swipe, the speed is four. Let's make that a six or nine. I uh, swipe on the ball. It's going really fast and it's slowing down. But if I change this to seven, it should really slow down. So look over here. Play the game. Play it. Swipe. And look, it's going fast, but it's slowing down. And it doesn't get to the other side. You guys are going to play around with this. Now, when you do JavaScript, this is called football on swipe. Let's go back to the blocks. Football set to seven, make this six. And then we go when swiped, football going in any direction. And we'll change the speed to five. Now, if I click on there, look, there we go. It goes very fast and it slows down. Uh, this friction part is really interesting because you can simulate physical science. Don't forget to go to the JavaScript. Just be careful of messing around in here. A specific way of writing it. You're going to have to look at that very carefully. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is the swipe angle. Look at this, guys. If you go to the swipe angle, when swiping on the football, we know that this piece is going to go into this block on the when swiped block. We're talking about the football. It can go in any direction. Set the friction, set the speed and angle of the ball to the speed of the swipe. So now we go to speed, set to swipe speed. So if I go really fast and I play like this and I swipe fast, look at that. If I go very fast, look at that, it should go faster. All right, so you've got to set it to your swipe speed, how fast you move across the and you could even bring in something else over here. And the angle, guys, football, angle, set to, and what would this be? Swipe angle. So if I go like this, if I move up there, push, if I click on the ball and I swipe up there, it's going to move up. Look at that. And then it's going like that. Look, I could even make a little game that it's, the ball is changing direction. So swipe down. Can you see every time I swipe the ball, it's changing direction. So that's the next one. Now you guys are going to build like soccer games and that. This is quite important. To be able to swipe things is really important. Okay, the next one. Reset the ball when it hits a wall. Now those of you who've done my scratch lessons will know this one. Create a function to reset the ball to its starting speed and X and Y position. If you go to this one, it says... When swiped, you go with the football, any direction, the football will then move at the speed of, let's go with three or th three, and then we're going to make that a function. Now look at this, this, you haven't learned this guys, this is new. Create, now when you create a variable in purple mesh, you can create a string, a number, or a function. So I'm going to create a function. And I'm going to call this reset. We'll just call it reset. Reset position. So I go reset position. I'm writing it like that. No spaces. And then I'm going to go like that. So reset position. So now, if I know that when the ball's moving in any direction, I'm going to bring the ball in over here. Kush, do you remember when we made it go at the swipe angle? So I'm going to go to swipe angle so it follows my finger as I go across my tablet and then as soon as it hits the wall so on the collision event 
Now, Kush, you'll probably know this. When the football collides with the wall, then I'm going to call my function. What's the name of my function? Reset position. There's going to be a calling that function. So I'm going to go change variable, reset position, call. Okay, reset position. Now, some of you might not understand what's going on here. Listen. When the football hits against the wall, so if I go over here, when the ball hits the wall, then it's going to call. Call means jump to what's in the code in here. Code in the reset position function. So that's going to then make the football go to X. And I don't know what the position of my ball is, so let's have a look if we can find that. If you look over here, look, the position of the ball on the X axis is, what's that? X, this is my variable watch. What does it say? X is 3. So we go back here, and we're going to set the X to 3. And then I'm going to bring this football, the object, into this. And I'm going to make the Y. And I don't know what the Y is, but look what the Y is. Where's my variable? Stop the code. And go back. Let's have a look. I don't see my variable watch. There it is. See there, guys? You can switch it off. I didn't know that. Kush, see these little watch are those glasses? That's the variable watch. So if I go there, the Y is 8. My ball is at... The Y position is 8, and the X position, which is going on the horizontal axis, is 8. So 3 is the X axis, 8 is the Y. We're going to now set it to the Y, 8. Now what happens, guys, is as soon as this ball hits against the wall, I'm just going to bring in a bit of friction, because I love that. I thought that was quite marvelous. Friction, and I'll make that 1 or 2. And we'll make the ball go a little bit faster. Now let's play it. What's going to happen? As soon as I go up like this, the ball hits against the wall, this purple part, and then it'll go back to its X, 3, and Y, 8 position. So watch. Go up. Look at that. Bang, it hits the wall. Did you see it goes back up? And it's moving back. And uh, interestingly, look at if I go this direction. Look, Kush. Doesn't even make it. But I'll go again. And then it jumps all the way back here. So it's jumping back to the original position. Now, don't forget the JavaScript. Look here, C code. Kush would know about code. But if you go over here, play around with this as well. So if I bring the speed, I'm going to make it go super fast. So let's make it 40. It's going to go like a bullet. So I don't know if I'll even be able to see it. Let's see. Whoa, it shoots. And look, and it hits the, goes back to its original position. But it's going so fast that it's, it's, it's a bit too fast. So let's go with 15. I'll go 16 is fine. And watch. goes there. Hits again. So it goes back there. And it keeps on bouncing back. And if I can get it to go, I could stop it now. I could make it go in a different direction. Make it go that way. Let's just get this variable watch away. There we go. And it bounces there and it goes back to original position. Right, I want to go through the last three, three uh, go, boys and girls, so you understand that one. When the ball hits the goal, play a sound. Increase the number of goals and call the function to reset the ball. So when you go over here, over here, you're going to have when the ball hits the goal. So let's just look at what we have. There's the goal. When the ball hits the goal. So when the ball, so the ball's going to move. How's it going to move? We'll set a friction. Let's set it to 1. And then we're going to make when it hits the goal. Hey, So what's, the, what's got to hit the ball got to hit against? The goal. So look, there's the goal. When it hits the goal, then we're going to call a function. Okay, so remember function. And we can leave it as my function 1, the name of it. We could say uh, when it play sound. Let's go with change this to be play sound. So we'll give it a name. It's very important to sometimes name things adequately when you code. Some people just call it like X, Y, and they don't know what it does. So play sound. So whenever it hits the goal, then we're going to change the function. That means it's going to call over here the change function. It's going to call the variable. 
it's going to change and call it. So when it hits the goal, we're going to call this over here. And look over here, it's going to tell you how many goals have been scored. Right, so when it's, what do we do? We're going to play the sound. What type of sound should we play? We could go applause. And then we know that when the football hits the goal, then we're going to go with variable name. You have not created any variables. I think there's a variable. Oh, maybe this one must come first. Let's create the variable. So the variable's made. Now we can see, ah, there, look, guys. Do you understand why when I put this one over here, look, this block over here, when I say variable, you have not created any variables. Now, this is important. Listen, it's important to declare your variable first. So in other words, when you read the first line, it's going to see create variable. It's creating a variable called a function named play sound and then the football is going to set the friction to one then you're going to make the football swipe we're going to make the football move in the direction of where we want it to go so when swiped you're going to bring this over here when swiping on the football in any direction you're going to bring in all that bit of code and when it hits the goal then you're going to call play sound and it's going to go call play sound now watch look at this before i go out of here guys let's just go over it one more time i'm creating a function the reason why it's up here this yellow part is up here is i need to declare the variable first my computer needs to know that it exists because it's reading line by line or block by block then it goes football the friction is set then it goes if it hits this is only going to be happening uh, guys i'm busy teaching you if it hits the goal it's going to call the fr the function called play sound so then it'll call play sound and you guys are going to enter that other bit of code there mm, i'm wondering if you're going to be able to do this i think you will and then you've got to also if it goes hits the the goal don't forget you've got to add a goal so you've got to go add one so it'll get one more goal so remember you're going to bring in that and that'll bring over here that you can see how many goals have been scored look it'll tell you over here how many goals are scored look there zero so if you go like that it won't work yet because there's still parts of my code that are wrong remember you can't have an open block like this okay the football will need to move at the angle and the speed of the swipe the swipe angle and the football will need to move at the speed that you set it you can set it to whatever you want you can even choose a random speed so now it'll work if you go like this there we go i'm just going to make this smaller oh there we go when swiping on the football set to swipe speed football speed set to a random oh look here guys football there's a mistake so i'm just going to move a bit down I'm just going to try and make everything a little bit smaller for you guys and this one i'm just going to take out for the moment so if i go over here football look it's going to hit there it should show one goal look changed it became one don't forget when you do this one to make it return to its original position Boys and girls, good luck with doing this activity. I'm not going to go on to the next activities. Try to see if you can go as far as you can. If you're really stuck, look at this. Use this button over here. It'll give you some help. You can either watch the original, the video that it opens with or go to the hint. And then it'll show you a video, but it'll give you a warning that you'll lose a few points. So go for it. See how far you can go. And good luck. And thanks to you for listening so well to what i've just showed you now this is the basis of really good games that you could build and those of you who intend to go into the gaming and making your own games pretty important lesson today okay thank you